Hey guys, Thomas Asula Jr. here, aka Mustache Tom, here to review the critically acclaimed movie, The Shape of Water. Now, you're probably wondering why this review is so late. Well, it's because I kind of forgot this movie existed until it won its reward, and I was like, oh yeah, that movie came out. I'm gonna check it out. It won a reward. It must be pretty solid, right? And after watching the movie, mm, I don't know, there's something I gotta, I have some beef with this movie, because boy oh boy. Anyways, there are some things I gotta say, but I'm gonna go in order. So to start off, the movie actually starts out really well. It starts off with this really nice underwater shot, but it's like, the home room of this lady named Eliza. Uh, and it's all nice and cool looking and all that, and all the water eventually goes down, and it's just a visual pleasure to look at and all that good stuff. So this lady does up does a morning ritual going to the uh, theater, and then, uh, you know, making sure she's all prettied up, and then... Uh, taking care of herself with the pleasure in the bathroom. We come to learn pretty quickly that she is a mute, which means she does not speak. And as she's moving about, uh, learning, uh, looking at this television with this other man, this uh, painter, this old painter guy, I never caught his name in the entire movie, I'm sorry about that, but um... I'll just call him the painter, even though I, I, I assume that's what he does. Like, he puts like stuff together. He's like he's trying to like sell his paint as a sort of service to this company, but it never goes well. Anyway, um, so she works at this company. I believe the company was called Ocam. It only showed the design once, so I think that's what it was. So she works with this other lady named Zelda, who essentially talks to her, uh, you know, about her daily life and how things are going. Uh, and as that's going on, we see that a new asset, as they, as these other workers are referring to it as, is being brought in. And we see that it is none other than the creature, and I will simply refer to it as the water creature, or just creature for the sake of simplicity, since they never named the creature in the movie and so on and so forth. You know, I suppose I could call it the asset, but that would be weird. Anyway, so the artist, who is an older man, is trying to hit on this younger cashier very, very subtly at the beginning of the movie. And thus, Eliza goes about her routine. So, uh, one of the, uh, New guards, I believe it was a guard, is like chatting with, uh, I think it was Zelda. And as that's going on, Eliza sees some blood. The main guard, um, who's named Richard, ends up like losing a lot of blood and losing two of his fingers. And so the Eliza and uh, Zelda have 20 minutes to clean the rest of the room as the uh, they try to assess the, the rest of the crew site uh, choose to how they how they're gonna assess the situation. So she so she leaves eventually leaves and then she's like uh, listening to classic tunes. And then she comes back and stuff like that. And she starts to sit at the edge of the water with an egg, offering it to the creature. It uh, takes the egg and uh, <clears throat> dives back in. So sorry, I said I kept saying her the other lady's name was Zelda. I meant Delilah. That's her name, because there was this whole thing about the Bible of, like, Richard, like, brings her in later, but anyway, um, so Eliza's playing music and trying to teach the creature, like, sign language and all that, and, uh, places more eggs and so on and so forth, defending the creature at this point, 
and one of the men who are taking notes, who we later learn is a spy, sees what Eliza is up to, but keeps his mouth shut. So, it cuts to these two men who, I'm just going to say now, they're, I assume they're Russian. Uh, they meet with this password. Uh, the spy that I've just mentioned is with them. Uh, they go to meet up in this area, talking about what they're going to do, trying to see if they want to steal the creature or kill it or do whatever with it. So, that happens. So, then Eliza and uh, Delilah uh, are doing laundry. Now, Eliza ends up back in that room, but this time she has to hide as Richard uh, comes back in with a zapping prod and zaps the creature several times. He finds the egg and doesn't find her, though, at any point. So they, met, they mentioned that they know that the, the Soviets are wanting to take this for themselves, or the Russians, as, they, as it's put. Uh, so she's like trying to, you know, she eventually does get help, or get out of there I should say. Then she tries to get help from the artist, uh, and he's like, no, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't, and so on and so forth. So he gets rejected again after trying to sell his uh, art piece like to a company that like I guess sells food or something. So he gets to go to get a pie and then he tries to make his advancement toward the younger cashier guy uh, and then ends up getting kicked out of the shop permanently. So after he loses that opportunity, he decides that he's going to help Eliza. So the spy slash scientist who we saw earlier gets the order to kill the creature. And uh, Eliza ends up like sort of wandering back there. So her friend... Uh, you know, they're seeing her sort of sneak about and they're sort of going, hmm, what's all that about? Uh, so her friend Delilah stays behind and then uh, as Eliza's executing this plan, the spy slash shine test ends up trying to help her. And he places these charge or this single charge that uh, powers down the entire vicinity. So, uh, Delia tries to stop Eliza and so on, uh, but Richard sees the vehicle because the uh, artist is coming into with the vehicle to essentially pick him up, uh, goes over and gives chase. Luckily for them, they are able to all get the circuit is broken and the... Uh, the spy slash scientist kills one of the guards and the vehicle is able to pull up and help assist uh, Eliza and Delilah with the creature. So Richard gets a military call uh, to get the uh, to get the creature back. So you know he's trying to defend his case, but the uh, military leader isn't having any of it. Uh, so, now the creature's in this new place. It's looking around. Uh, it kills a cat, which, you know, it's like, oh, maybe, hey, this creature having around isn't a good idea at the moment right now. Uh, so it walks away, and the artist, uh, when Eliza returns, uh, you know, he's like, oh, go look for it. And it ends up watching this movie. Uh, when it returns, we see that when it touches the artist, he, the creature itself turns, like, this bluish color. And he's like, no, no, the artist guy's like, no, no, whatever. Uh, so... It cuts away to Richard, who now has the spy, you know, he knows the situation of all that going on, and ends up, like, torturing him to get the, all the info. 
So, Eliza has decided that she's going to take all her clothes off in front of the creature and go in the, to the bath with him. And it cuts away. So, anyways, uh, she's, like, filling up now, she's now, like, filling up the room with water and stuff, and, you know, doing all that crazy stuff, um, and we see that the artist seems to be getting his hair back because he didn't have hair on the top of his head and now he does. Uh, so, we see that now that the spy is running out of time because there's some sort of pickup that he has to do. And Richard is also now running out of time because uh, the military is like saying, Oh, you gotta get this monster now, now, now. Then a pretty bizarre moment happens in the movie where Eliza starts to like cut away. Like, it, it turn the entire area turns dark and then it like it goes like black and white and she starts to gain her voice back although it's not real uh she starts to sing and dance with the monster uh again it's a little bit weird um you know the movie was as you know even though it involves a creature it was pretty simplistic up until that point i was like okay this is going pretty simple even the escape was you know it wasn't overly complicated all things considered and then the singing thing starts and it's just like huh that doesn't fit the tone of the movie at all but uh we see that she's at, you know when it cuts back and it's all light again just we see she's attempting to sing as much as she possibly can so her friend talks to her afterwards uh, and she says that they need to contact the spy, uh, because he was helping them out with the creature, and the creature was, like, you know, having trouble, so they try to call, but the spy ended up leaving before then. So, Richard ends up following the spy slash scientist, and ends up, uh, with the other two, uh, Russian spies, and Richard ends up shooting all three of them. So Richard uh, tortures, as I mentioned earlier, he, tar he ends up torturing or torturing the spy, who ends up spilling the information, as I mentioned earlier. So I got that part mixed up earlier, but whatever. Anyway. So Richard asked, uh, asked Zelda uh, about the whereabouts of the creature, and the husband eventually spills out her information. So Richard busts into Eliza's home and sees the water fill his her tub filled with water, and he's like, "Oh, damn it!" But everything else they had left, but he gets to see the note that they left behind. So the artist is there, and he has a little moment with the creature, and then, um, Richard comes up from behind and, uh, punches the artist and, uh, shoots the creature twice, and then shoots, uh, <clears throat> Eliza. So after that happens, and we assume that Eliza is dead for sure, the old man slash artist comes up and hits Richard with a plank. So the creature then walks up to Richard and slashes him across the neck. Then proceeds to take Eliza and take her into the water. Keep in mind that the, the police are there but they're at a distance so I, I don't ever assume that they saw the creature. They were and it was raining, so on top of that, I don't know. They probably didn't see what it was. I don't know. Anyway. So, we come to the moment where I go, no. Nope. No, 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 no. So, here we go. The creature kisses her, and she gets gills. Hmm. Um, okay. So, the artist, um... 
we end up seeing or hearing that he was the narrator, and he ends it with a quote about, you know, something, something, uh, togetherness and love and all that stuff. And the movie ends with them in the water, as you see here. And, I'm sorry, but the end of this movie sucks. It sucks! It ruins the entire movie! What the hell was that?! No, 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 no. That doesn't work. I'm sorry, that does not work. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. It makes no sense. I can give the movie enough uh, suspension of disbelief to say that the creature has some sort of healing factor. Sure. And it heals the other artist. I can, I can accept that. Sure, but to tell me that this creature not only has that ability, but also has the ability to change biology in a human being and turn it into essentially a fish-human hybrid, no. No, 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 no. No, that is bullshit, and I can't believe that the that was the ending. It totally betrays the, what the beginning of the movie tells us. That this is some sort of over-tragedy. And sure, he also, the artist also mentions how it's a love story. But he also mentions, a, he clearly mentions that there is some sort of tragedy. And then, to tell me that that was a tragedy? I mean, maybe to him, I guess maybe? But to us as the audience, if, you know, if that was to indicate any sort of spoiler, then that's a lie. And that's bullshit of a lie. Especially with that ending. That ending is complete bullshit. That ending kind of ruins the entire movie for me, personally. I was like, just no! That, that doesn't make any sense. There's no indication that that should have worked. Um, now, if you were to ask me how would I end this movie, uh, so there was some indication or some point in the movie, you know, since the creature has a healing factor, which, again, is the part I am willing to accept, I thought that the creature was going to heal her voice, and that she was going to be able to speak and warn the creature, like, she was going to see Richard coming in and warn the creature to get out of the way or something and then she would also get managed to get out of the way to give them enough time to you know to live essentially and then that would give enough time for the artist to make his move and then that you know the creature would go under the water and then she would stay up above and that would be the tragedy they would have to be split apart, right? That would make sense. That would fit the narration. But no, they had to ruin the entire fucking movie with this bullshit ending. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. It makes the entire movie just like, no. I'm gonna give this movie a 4 out of 10. That ending is unacceptable for a director that's critically acclaimed. That's bullshit. And I can't believe this movie is so critically acclaimed. This movie's bullshit. This movie just might end up on one of my worst movies of 2017, I believe. This came out in 2017. This is pretty, you know, again, I'm sorry for this late review, but... I'm baffled. I am simply baffled by that ending. And that's my review of The Shape of Water. It builds up so much... And then just completely throws it all away. That's the shape of water. Throwing all your potential and taking a shit on it. My name is Thomas Sisulu Jr. A.K.A. Mustache Chime. And if you enjoyed this review slash rant, then please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And also make sure to check out that link in the description. It'll head you over to my Patreon page. And any donations are greatly appreciated. And until next time, everyone. Bye.